Hi, Josh. We're back with more Timberborn. We're going to jump right in where we left off last time. All right, we have another drought coming in. Uh, in in the meantime, since the last update, uh, I, I just finished building a third water pump. Not that we need it, but we have it. I set this sunflower to go away. I set this platform to be built, and we're going to build a fourth water pump right there. And the only reason I'm building them now is because, for one, we have the resources. For two, we're going to have the beavers. And for three, it's always better to have more quick supply in an emergency. And since we're expanding so rapidly, I am worried that we will get to a point of emergency. So I want to make sure that we are prepared for that to happen uh, as best as best as possible, I guess. <laughs> so they chopped this tree after it grew up, which means I think it's time to make our paper mill. Now that's going to require 40 logs, 40 planks, and 15 gears. And we don't quite have that many planks. But that's okay. We will get them. Eventually, we already have 44 gears, which is fantastic. Because that means that we can get this built and it won't hurt us. Or we won't have to wait forever for it. So, that's that's great. Okay, I've cleared all of that out. Uh, we've got the platform built. Let me build the other water pump. And then I'll pause that as soon as it's built. Because we've got a drought coming in in less than two and a half days. I just got another notification that a beaver was injured, so I clicked on him, and he came straight over to the medical bed. That makes me happy. This was a good investment. Hell yes. All right, cool. I also like that when you zoom in, you get some nature sounds. You like the crickets? It's much more peaceful out here, where all we hear is the, the gentle susurration of the wind. That's your big word for the day. Uh-oh, got another injured beaver over here at the at the water pump. What? Where? Hello? No, that was the building lax workers. I want to see the injured beaver. Oh, he's already in a medical bed. That's great. Uh, okay, and you have, you have a beaver working in you now all of a sudden. There wasn't one there last time I clicked on you less than a minute ago. Oh, 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 this is a mistake. I don't, I don't want that there. Uh, let's, let's clear you two out. Whoops. I mean, not that anybody could get back there to build, but yeah, that was that was a mistake. All right, now I'm thinking since the drought is coming in 1.3 days, that's a perfect time to destroy this and make a four-way shaft so that we can do that thing with the platforms and the windmills and the infrastructure over the river if we want to. Uh, and I think that's a very good idea. I think that we should do that. And also, I think that maybe we have too many gears now. We've already put our 15 gears there. And so now I'm going to I'm going to pause both of these because we need to build up a stock of planks. I think that while my math was correct about how many planks we will be producing versus how many gears we will be producing, I think maybe I was mistaken about how quickly we can burn through planks. So <laughs> maybe I only needed to build one gear workshop to start. And maybe that's what we'll do with this section of the area is build some more lumber mills. <laughs> All right, I, I know I just got finished saying we need to build up a stockpile of planks, but this is kind of why. So I decided to start our first section of uh, placing placing platforms. Why did you go and put a random one out there? Is it just because we have plenty of logs? I don't understand why you're doing it in that order. I mean, I guess because I clicked and dragged and they just go with whichever one they feel like at the time. I mean, they are filling up with logs. So eventually, all of these logs are going to be in place, at least along this row, and maybe down here and, and up here. But then uh, we won't be able to do that with planks until we make some more planks, which is going to take some time, especially given that we've got half a day until the drought starts, and we won't have any power at all. Okay, the drought has begun. All four pumps have been paused. The water has drained away. We have no power, so I can probably pause these. I don't know where all these poor beavers are going to go work. We have nine unemployed beavers right now. <laughs> I have no idea where they're going to go work. But we have over 200 water. We have over 1,200 food. That's at the beginning of the drought. Let's see how we're looking at the end. Everything is still hydrated. I'm so happy with how this worked out with the layout and the hydration and everything. I'm so happy. 
Oh, I just realized it's a five day drought this time. The first two were only three. So this will be a good stress test of we have 33 beavers and only 220 water. We may have to unpause these pumps before the drought ends, but that's okay because this water is plenty deep. Let's take a quick look over here. This, this, yeah, this water's plenty deep. There we go. I clicked the show water level icon. Yeah, look at that. That's plenty of water. I like that. Also, this is a very cool view. Uh, except when I clip through the ground. Look at this colony! Look at it. it makes me so happy to see them walking around like that. That looks so great. Let me zoom out just a little bit so we're kind of above the water. There we go, with a slightly different angle on our view. Uh, I mean, that guy that guy's hurt, which makes me sad. But we can see our little forestry area. We can see our crops all full grown. There's beavers just standing around the fields because there's no storage to put the food in. <laughs> I mean, there is. It's They're not completely full, but uh, man, man, we're doing good. All right, I am going to build a hauling post because for now we have so many unemployed beavers that, that we could probably use the help moving stuff around. Also, our storage is starting to fill up again, and I'm thinking that means we start making our pad of storages that we can build on top of eventually. And uh, maybe, maybe I should prioritize what goes in each storage. Oh, and look at that. We can build the path straight backward. Oh, I did space it right. That was unintentional, but I'll take it. I'll call that a win. And I'm going to do this, and that will be for four more storages, four more warehouses. I think I want to set this to desired or allowed none, and then I'll choose what goes in here. So what can we put in here? What do we have a lot of? I want this to be all grilled potatoes, I think. There we go. So that one is 100% grilled potatoes. Let's unpause, and they can just go put grilled potatoes in there. Only grilled potatoes. They're already doing it. <laughs> That's gonna fill up so fast too. Uh, you know what? I think I think I'm also gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do two for grilled potatoes because that's only 400. That's less than half of the grilled potatoes we have. I'm wondering if I should just make all four of these grilled potato storage. That that seems crazy to me, but uh, I I think it it kind of makes sense. I mean, just because we have so much, so much grilled potato. How much grilled potato? All. We have all the grilled potato. Oh, I can actually do that now from here. I, I didn't realize. And now we've got room for 800 grilled potatoes in there. Oh boy, we are hurting a little bit on water. We're down to 130 and there's that's only two days. We, we've only, we've survived two days on 100 water. Oh shit. Okay, well, uh, I think I will unpause two of these and we'll see if that is good enough. We need a lot more water storage, I think. Okay, our water level's climbing a little bit. Our food has dropped, but I think that's only because uh, everybody ate breakfast. But our, our water seems to be holding steady now on, on two pumps. So I think, uh, I think we're doing all right. And hopefully we won't dry out the river, but I guess we'll find out. Now, since we've already got this just all potato, I should probably start doing everything else. Uh, you know, I'm going to pause it so I can fix this. I want just berries in this one. And then I guess I can just, like, leave the rest. Okay, I'm hoping they finish up this uh, this hauling post pretty soon because it'd be really nice to have, like, four more beavers hauling potatoes out of all of these storages and putting them in here. Wait, are you full? Are you seriously full? No, you were for a minute. You are full of potato. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's, let's go, let's sneak up on these beavers. Look at this. Look at these guys. Oh my god, they're sitting having a little conversation. Oh my god, that's so adorable. Oh, we've got more, oh my god. They're just, they're, they're popping in and out constantly. <gasps> just rotating cast of, of beavers just having a good old time around the campfire that's not even lit. That's amazing. And then we had one in the background there fixing his teeth. All right, we're still, oh, our water has actually gone up a bit. So is our food. Okay, all right, we're doing okay. We've got 11 unemployed adult beavers right now. This is, this is nuts. Due to the drought, we are not able to make planks right now, which means this entire project is on hold. But 
since we're not able to make planks, we are stocking up on logs, which is great. That's really going to help us out uh, going forward because we have not had the most amazing stock of logs. And as a matter of fact, we still only have one log storage, a log pile. And I should probably make a second one, maybe one over here and then maybe one down here or something. Um, as a matter of fact, I bet I can fit one right there. Let's let's see. Let's go. No, not lumber mill. Oh, oh, it, we, it's under storage. Not. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's perfect. Yes, please. Build a log pile right there. Okay, and I'm I'm thinking. Uh, I'll put one down here eventually, but I am not. I'm not pressed about it right now. I'm not urgently needing a log pile down there because we still we have more logs than we have storage in a in a single log pile. Like this one's full now and this one's starting to fill up. But if we get to the point where it looks like we're about to fill up our second log pile, I will build a third. The only downside is that they have to run from here all the way back here. And that is a bit unfortunate. So maybe maybe it would be smart to build another log pile. You know what? We're going to do it. But I'm going to build it. Let's see. I'm going to build it on this side of the road because... If we want to keep expanding this industrial road down this way, we're gonna need, to, we, we would need to destroy a log pile if it was there. So I'm gonna keep it on that side of the road. The drought has ended. Okay, good, I wanted to make sure that the path reached. It does, that's great. And they are now able to get a lot, a lot faster uh, transportation of logs, which means we're probably gonna produce logs faster. Look at that, we're already up to almost 250 logs. Oh, I should probably unpause these. I'll unpause those. We can start rebuilding our stocks. The wheels are turning. Everything's alive. This is fantastic. We have 33 adult beavers and three children. Wow. Oh, our housing's full. That's what that means. We have 36 beavers. Good God. That's really impressive. All right, I guess we need to build more housing. I mean, we definitely need to build more water. That's for sure. That is that is absolutely undisputed. Uh, it's just a matter of where. You know what? I think this ground looks awfully unirrigated. Why don't we just do that for now? Because I would still like to use this land for something growing at some point. Just like I want to fill this with berries, I want to remove all these berries and use this for something else. And I don't know what yet. Probably wheat. We're probably going to need a whole bunch of wheat. And then I'll probably build, like, a, a, a row of grist mills right here and a row of bakeries right here. And then we'll fill the rest of this with wheat. And maybe we'll store it right here. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Holy shit. Is that... No, that's not all berries. It's mostly berries. And some grilled potatoes. Even though I said I want nothing but berries here, right? Was this the berries one? Yes, it is. Berries. And you've only got 19. Why, why do you have... You have a gear in here? Why do you have a gear in here? Get rid of that. Okay, this is still not built because we do not have any planks. Well, we have, we have a plank. Oh my god! We've already got paper? You're building paper so fast! Oh my god, I love it. Okay, are we putting planks here? No, you are putting planks here. Okay, no, that's good. That's good. I still want this project done. But I would really like 10 planks over here. Let's let's prioritize the, the hauling post. Uh, because we have 10 unemployed beavers right now. I really do not need two farmers in each of these farmhouses. So I'm, I'm hesitant to uh, add that just to employ somebody. Just like I'm hesitant to uh, unpause this gatherer flag just to employ somebody. Oh my god. Okay, I'm clicking around here, looking at all these trees, and I can't find any that are at 100%, so maybe maybe one gatherer flag is good enough to handle this entire forest. Yeah, it looks like this gatherer has been staying current. Holy shit, that gatherer is really, really productive. Hey, look at that. We still have seven unemployed. All right, everybody can work there then. That'll move stuff around a lot faster. Okay, are you empty? You're still not empty. I, I just, honestly, I only want this gear moved out of there. I just want somebody to haul that gear out of there. And then I can fill it up with berries. Okay, it looks like our water is filling up really, really fast. Which is great. Uh, but I, I think that means we probably need to unlock the large water tank. Because, I mean, 
it's 20 gears per tank, which is crazy expensive, but its capacity is 300 as opposed to 30. And that'll that'll be very good for us. So I think we're going to do it. And I'm going to build one where? Right here, maybe? Yeah. And then I'm going to... Let's see. Let's get rid of this one berry bush. And then let's get rid of these berry bushes. And then I'll build a road through there, like so. And we can build more large water tanks right here. And then we'll have a an absolute ton of water storage. Now, I know I said I was going to use this area for, for wheat and bread and stuff. And we will. But... I don't, I don't think it's a bad idea to have water storage right there, kind of in the center of town, near where everybody lives and works. Okay, we're making really good progress on these planks. I think it's time to start planning our windmills. And maybe we just jump straight to large windmills since we have paper. We've already got 44 paper. Uh, it's 1400 science, so we are going to have to wait just a little while for that. And I'm comfortable with that. I do not mind that at all. So let's, uh, let's just keep on cranking out all the things that we're cranking out and uh and we'll just we'll just let the science build i'm tempted to build more science huts we we do still have two unemployed beavers so even if these are temporary and we end up tearing them down i think i'm okay with that how much are you you are only 12 logs i love that i say only as if it's no big deal that i might potentially waste 24 logs because to me 300 logs is even 400 logs is still not a ton. They have cleared out those berry bushes that I wanted to get rid of. And I think it's time to build more of these large water tanks. Oh, oh, oops, I miscounted. I mean, I wasn't really counting. I was just kind of guessing. But let's clear out those also. And look at this. They are done. They are done delivering goods as soon as everybody wakes up, they can build that, and then we have room for 300 more water. I think once we get these three very, very large barrels built, um, I think that we're going to be fine on the droughts. We've got four water pumps cranking away. We'll be able to fill up our water storage in no time, and then we'll be good for any length of drought the game can throw at us. At least with our current population. Uh, we are going to continue to build the population, though, so... Only time will tell. Oh, hey, they finally moved that gear out of here, so I am not going to empty storage anymore. I am going to let them fill it with berries. All right, berries, desired, zero. I, I, I do not want you to have berries. I want you to have zero berries in there. Can you move them into this one? I know it's silly to, to move berries from point A to point B just to have done it, but it, it makes me feel good to be able to... to at least keep everything neatly sorted. As opposed to last game where we just had storage everywhere and nothing made sense. <laughs> okay, there we go. I can just... Yeah, I'll, I'll leave you at zero. But, uh... Well, you know what? I'm gonna put it back to ten. You can, you can keep your 15 berries. Keep your secrets. We need to build our third large water tank. Oh, wait. We've used all our gears, haven't we? Yes. Yes, we have. All right, for now, we're not going to... Yeah, maybe I should Maybe I should unpause. <laughs> Everybody's employed. You know what I can do? Uh, how are we doing on planks? We've got 18 planks. Let's unpause one of these for now. And I will reduce the hauling post by one. And then somebody can go work. There it is. Somebody can go work down there. And you can make gears for me. I made a decision... We're unpausing both gear workshops because we do have 20 planks. So that should be that should be fine. We can crank out those gears and get that third large water barrel built because I would much rather have the water barrel than the planks. Oh, and I just noticed we're over 1,400 science, which means we can unlock that uh, large windmill. All right, how's this look? Okay, that's that's not it's not huge. It's 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 good. I'm thinking I would like a path on this row, and I'd like to put these windmills wherever I can along here. Uh, power connections blocked. Oh, is it by a by a berry? Oh, there's a berry bush right there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so I would like to put a row of them as, you know, as close as I can along here, put power along here, and then we can put more out here as we as we desire. So I'm thinking, oh, you know what I didn't do during the drought? I didn't turn that into a four-way intersection. <laughs> oh, good. We've got another drought coming in in three days. Okay, well, there we go. 
we, we still don't have enough gears to build another one of these, but I'm going to set it for construction anyway, and then I will build the paths that it needs. And they're already getting started. So, oh, I forgot that these require planks and gears to build. So we're going to use planks to make the gears and planks to build that thing. Whoops. Oh, that's, that's fine. We've still got plenty of planks, right? We're not going to have this built by the time the drought starts. That's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll live without it. We've already got over right around 800 water in storage. And I, that makes me really, really happy. So I think that we should be fine to make it through a drought. All right. I think it's about time that we start getting serious about this wheat plan. Even though we're not going to have power during a drought, we've got plenty of power when it's not drought time. And I think that it's time to start clearing out some of these bushes, start getting our grist mills and our bakeries prepped, and start planting wheat fields. We're going to need more farmhouses for that. And, uh, well, I mean, this one can handle almost the entire area, but I am going to want at least one more farmhouse, probably right here next to these water. Oh my god, they did finish it in time! You guys are so efficient! How, how did you do that? How did you guys manage? That's amazing. I didn't think there was a chance that we would have that many gears. Oh my god. And we've still got 12. How, how did... <laughs> I'm just, I'm in awe. I'm in absolute awe. This one's full. This one's almost full. And this one's got just a tiny bit. None of these are full. None of these little guys are full. But uh, that's, that's okay. We've got over 800 water. Oh my god. Okay, I got distracted from the large windmill uh, because I, I realized I didn't do that four-way intersection. But we will, we will do that during the drought. We don't have enough gears to make even a single large windmill right now. It costs 20. We have, we have enough paper to make three, so we'll have to figure that out later. I've been watching the river over the past few droughts, like right before the drought starts, and I noticed the water definitely slows down. Look how slowly these water wheels are moving, and it's it, and it hasn't even started yet. So, like, the water's still flowing, which means that, you know, we're not going to dry out and all of our plants and trees desiccate, but it definitely moves slower. I think that's a really interesting mechanic that I never noticed before. Anyway, let's uh speed this back up a little bit. Oh, actually, you know what? It's it's because I was running at a lower speed. That's why the water wheels are moving so slow. Never mind everything I just said. I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, we are up in the mid 20s for planks. We've got almost 20 gears. We've got 120 paper. Maybe we can't afford one of these. Oh, no, that's 40 planks. Right, that's why we can't afford it. Ha! Okay. Uh, but but you don't require any... Oh, you do require 20 gears. Right, right. So we do need gears producing and planks. Oh, Lord. Maybe we need another another uh, lumber mill. Uh, how are we looking on logs? Over 500? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, while we're waiting on the drought, we'll build maybe two more lumber mills. I think two more lumber mills should be good. And we can leave the rest of that space open for something else. Okay, it's the beginning of the drought. It's a six-day drought this time. I'm going to pause all four of these. And we have over 900 water, nearly 1,500 food. Uh, let's, let's see how we do with 35 beavers. Because somebody died of old age. Uh, we also need to pause these. You know... I'm realizing that trying to set these warehouses so that they only have one thing is probably going to screw me at some point in the future. I think it's probably a bad idea to do that. <laughs> all right, I have set everything back to allow all with default desired amounts because I would rather have all of my storage available for whatever, even if it's a mess, than to have it set for very specific things, and then when we're making less of that thing, just have a bunch of empty warehouses going to waste. I, I hate the idea of it. I just cannot abide having a bunch of empty warehouses because I forgot about something. Especially as we start building up another layer on this area of the town, and I forget that all of these are down here. That would be tragic. Uh, also, I realized that uh, both of these are full. And we need to build another one. <laughs> oh my god, all three of these are full. <laughs> okay, let's build another log pile. Where where am I going to build this one? 
I should probably also build it here and uh, just call that good. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't need to be paused. Why did I pause it? I should probably also build another one down here, but I, I hate the idea of just having our log piles going further and further away from the town center. What? What are you doing? <laughs> They're filling that one by emptying this one. Why would you do that? That's so silly. All right, anyway, uh, let me... Oh, shit. Okay, we can still get back there. There's there's no road, but there is open, walkable land. Let me, uh, let me delete this, and we will build a four-way. I almost forgot to do it again. And there he goes. All right, he's placing it. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. How are we looking? Four. Great. This tree still hasn't been chopped, and I'd really like it gone. Uh, I... 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 I haven't been paying solid attention to it, but it's still sitting there fully grown, and it's just silly. Why Why are you doing this? <laughs> uh, we, we currently have six unemployed beavers, and everything is full. I mean, I, I only have one employee each in, in the farmhouses, but we really do not need more. Look at how much food we've got. Well over 1,500, still looking very solid. Over 700 water, we're halfway through the drought, I'm oh, over halfway through the drought. I'm really happy with this. Okay, I think we should start planning out our grist mills and bakeries, shouldn't we? I mean, we only have 37 planks, so we're still not even ready to build our first windmill. So if grist mills require planks, I will, I will nope out of that plan. What do you require? You do require planks and gears. Okay, well then we need to wait on that because I really, really want some windmills before we get that going because I don't know how much power we're going to need uh and and you know what actually I think what I would like to do is I would like to at least figure out how much room we need and I will spend the science and then we will do this so if you you would connect like right here okay if I position this last one like that without that berry bush being there we can fit four grist mills in a row right here all connected to power and I'm pretty sure the bakery, let's also spend the science on this, does not require power, and yeah, it's it's just a little guy. Um, I mean, it's the same size, but it's, you know, it's the narrow, front on the front on the narrow end, um, front door, I guess. So, oh, right, we should also be doing aquatic farmhouse. We could do cattail roots and spatter dock there. Oh, that would be more food stuff that we could do. Um, should we do that here instead of building... Uh, the, these, the, the platforms to, to make industry. Like, we can make industry all over here if we wanted. We could do aquatic farming over here. That would be super cool. I do like that idea. We could build a stairway right down here and, and just build aquatic farming all through here. And then we could build another stairway here to get back up once this fucking tree is gone. I mean, they're doing so good chopping these trees. Please come chop this tree. You're in range, I know you are. Yeah, I think maybe we should do aquatic farming. Uh, let me unlock this just so that we can see. Does it have to go down here or does it have to go up here? It employs specialized farmers that plant and harvest aquatic crops, but it doesn't say where it should be built. Like, you can technically build it down here, which seems silly. Maybe we'll build it on some platforms right here, and then we'll lay out some farms right here that he can go down into the water to get. And then maybe when we build another stairway here, we can build one like on platforms right here and then build some more farms right here. And then we'll have like one path that connects through. I kind of like that idea. Okay, not that we need more food right now, but you know, it's a plan. All right, we have a full complement of beavers. Every bed is occupied. We have one day left in the drought and we still have nearly 600 water, over 1600 food. Our food amount has actually gone up since the drought started. And I think, uh, I think maybe we should build more housing, get some more beavers. We still have six unemployed beavers, so we we are going to need more jobs. But I think that that is, I think that's an easy fix. Uh, we just build more stuff, right? <laughs> All right, buddy. That's enough progress for one day. Come back in three weeks for the next episode of Timberborn. In the meantime, check out Surviving Mars and Raft. They're still happening on the channel, and they're both a lot of fun. I'll talk to you soon, brother. I miss you.